To discuss this in further detail, we have Assistant Secretary Jerpy Ergiza joining us via Zoom. Good evening, Asik Ergiza. Good evening, Robbie. Good uh, evening, uh, Gretchen. Mm, Asik, what do you say to the DOF? 130 billion daw ang ma-forgo natin. Eh, malaking bagay nga naman to during COVID. Well, actually, uh, before uh, the Secretary uh, of the Department of Energy, Secretary Kusi, Mm -hmm. um, submitted this letter to Congress. He had a coordination with uh, Secretary Dominguez and uh, they discussed this matter. Uh, this, this concept uh, is uh, in line with what happened uh, during this pandemic when, when the Bayanihan law was passed. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a provision that led to a, uh, an executive order which allowed uh, then the the addition of some uh, fees uh, or amount uh, in this uh, in the in the sale of oil uh, which will be used for the pandemic but this has a sunset provision and uh, in that the arrangement was when the price of oil reaches a certain point then uh, it, it will not, it will be stopped so this is also the concept uh, that is being proposed by secretary Pusi. Mm -hmm. he wrote uh, Congress, uh, of course, with coordinating first with uh, Secretary Dominguez uh, to provide or give a framework where the Department of Energy could do something to intervene mm. uh, in times of uh, when uh, oil prices spike uh, suddenly, like uh, what we are in right now. Mm. And uh, the concept is uh, once that the price a certain price is reached, then uh, the Department of Energy will have the, the authority to to ask for the suspension or uh, uh, the payment of uh, excise tax in uh, in a lesser amount. Mm. In the meantime, uh, Asik Ergiza, short of getting uh, Congress to help you out on this uh, and in the immediate term, what are the options purely on the exec executive side of government to give our people yes. some reprieve? Yes, uh, of course, the, uh, we in the Department of Energy also thought, thought of what we can do uh, and with other partners in the government like the, the OTR, uh, we're talking about uh, a whole of government approach. With respect to what the Department of Energy can do, We've uh, talked to uh, various oil companies, and as it was uh, aired earlier, uh, about five uh, oil companies already responded. Uh, and uh, we had discussions with the L FTRB uh, to ensure that we have mechanism that all these discounts will be uh, used uh, in, by the public uh, transport system. And... Uh, in, in, in uh, addition to this, of course, uh, uh, we've been continuously uh, coordinating to the companies which uh, have promised to uh, uh, give discounts. Uh, we have other companies, uh, but they have to go to their decision makers. Uh, we had a meeting with uh, the public transport group uh, the other day, Wednesday, and uh, they've asked us to ask or talk to the oil companies and ask for uh, bigger discounts. And uh, the Department of Trade of uh, Transportation also uh, uh, is having discussions with uh, the public transport uh, that instead of uh, approving the petition to, to hike the fare, uh, they will increase uh, the capacity of mm. passengers uh, and uh, the, the jeepney operators and drivers realize that if this will be the situation then they will be earning more because if the hike that they're asking for will be uh, approved uh, they 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 see that they will only be able to get around an additional mm. uh, uh, income of additional income of 11 pesos but if there will be increase in passenger volume mm. Mm -hmm. then they will be earning more. So, uh, in principle, this was agreed upon uh, by the parties uh, before the Committee on uh, uh, Transportation. And this will be brought to the IATF uh, for conformity. Okay. 
Energy Assistant Secretary Jerpy Argiza. Sir, maraming maraming salamat po.